goes down Scattered clouds Smell of spring Outside Open road You sit in clothes Let's go somewhere far away In the Florida Keys, we just left the anchorage, which was really pretty nice, but the way the winds are changing, it would not be protected at all, and we're going to have about 15 knots of wind, and it's pretty shallow. So we decided to head out of that anchorage. We're going to go all the way around Marathon Key, which is what you're looking at right now, and we're going to go under the Seven Mile Bridge at the highest point where we can get under. And we're going to go to the Atlantic side of Marathon Key. And there's an anchorage over there that's going to be better protected for the next couple of days. And uh, But it's beautiful out. The water's amazing. And uh, it's just a little nerve-wracking trying to get going and figure out where we're trying to get to. But uh, we're on our way to the next little anchorage. So we'll see how it is. Hi right, Carla, how do you feel about this? Feeling pretty good. So we're having to dodge a lot of crab pots, which we heard there were a lot of crab pots down here, and there definitely are. Um, otherwise, it's beautiful. I got up under the boat this morning and secured a zinc to the prop. We had no zinc on there and I put one on temporarily and then I secured it a little bit better today. And, um, but it's so clear under the water, I can see just about everything. So at this point in the video, we had so much background noise from the wind that uh, we took out most of the audio. And uh, but we still want to show the video, and you can see the water is amazing. It's anywhere from an emerald green to a turquoise blue, uh, depending on the depth and the lighting. It's just beautiful. Um, um, we're heading toward the the uh, seven mile bridge, and it's literally where the Gulf of Mexico meets the Atlantic. Once you go into the bridge, you're in the Atlantic. And um, so that's where we're heading. The anchorage that we're going to in this video is, is on the Atlantic side of Marathon Key. And um, so the only way to get there is either in, you can go through Key Largo, which is significantly farther up north from where we are, or you can, you can go through the Seven Mile Bridge where we're going, or you can go all the way around Key West. and I'm not familiar if there's with any other uh, ways to cross over. There's there's all the bridges that cross through the keys, and there's only enough room for sailboats in certain areas. So this particular bridge that we're going to cross has enough room for us, and that's why we're going to cross there. So one of the reasons we're doing a shorter video um, is because we're we're traveling right now. And so we're heading up the East Coast, and this was a little bit easier for us to just kind of get a video out there, try to keep up with it. But we're traveling every day right now. Um, we're only stopping for a day or two here and there because we're we're trying to get up uh, to past Chesapeake Bay, maybe even further up north toward New York, so that we can uh, be out of the hurricane zone as much as possible during. Uh, hurricane season. Um, so getting the videos up is a little more of a challenge because of all the traveling we're doing. Right now we're actually sitting through storms and so that, that means we're having to deal with storms and and so I'm only able to get these videos out once every couple of weeks if we're lucky. But uh, as you can see in the distance there, that's the seven mile bridge in the video. And that's where we're going to cross through. And uh, you'll see us pass through it in a, in a little while here. 
in the video. And it's about 65 feet high, something like that. Um, so there's plenty of room. There's a smaller bridge that they opened a section up. That smaller bridge is the uh, um, bridge that, that would go down to Key West. And I think at one time that was a railway. And then eventually they, they turned it into a roadway. And then uh, at some point they built a a, uh, a more modern roadway down there. Or bridge down there, if you want to call it that. And that's a seven-mile bridge. Um, um, we were lucky enough to get up there on, on our scooters. We were staying in uh, Bootkey Harbor on Marathon. And that'll be in some of our next videos. We'll show Bootkey Harbor. and uh, But we took the scooters up over that on the older section. It's kind of like a like a bike path and a walking path. And but it's amazing to look down on on uh, all this sort of ocean that we traveled in the boat. But we got to look down on it. We got to get up to a pretty good uh, height and look look down on all of it, and it was amazing. So here you see us making our approach to the bridge. You see the smaller bridge there, and that's where they've opened that section up, and then. The larger bridge, obviously, behind it. And um, once we cross through there, we're officially in the Atlantic. So off to the left as we pass through is the entrance to Bootkey Harbor. You won't be able to see it. It's a little bit of a distance away, but um, not too far. Maybe about a mile and a half, two miles from the area. And there's an entrance into Bootkey Harbor, and then it's a big, giant mooring field. And they have hundreds of mooring balls. And um, we had a tough time getting in, uh, just getting connected to the mooring ball. There was a lot of wind. And so it was real challenging. But we had a guy help us out. And we got in there and we stayed there for a month and a half. We worked on the boat. Um, so we got a lot done. And it was beautiful. I got to check, check out Marathon. and. Now here you see we're passing under the bridge, and it's always a little sketchy when you're doing this, but we've gotten more and more used to this, and it doesn't bother us much anymore, but boy, some of those early bridges are really challenging, making sure that you're going to make it under there and not take your mast down. So right here, we're officially in the Atlantic, and we're gonna, you're going to see us cruise around the marathon, around the, the Atlantic side. Um, and then we're going to head into an anchorage over there just to avoid some of the winds that we were going to be expecting. Um, there's the back side of the bridge. And cars are driving on it all day and all night, heading down toward Key West or heading, you know, up toward uh, Florida. So it was beautiful out th this day that we did this. And um, I wish we could have... Uh, had a little bit better audio, but uh, luckily we can supplement it with the narration. And we want to thank everybody for watching our videos. Everybody that uh, has has made comments or thumbs up on our thumbs up on our videos, we appreciate it. It sort of helps everything we're doing. And um, we hope you're enjoying the videos. This one is probably my least favorite because I I didn't get to do the editing I would have liked to have done on it to make it better, but it gives you a good idea of what we were doing and, and, and what we were seeing um, at least that day. And uh, it's beautiful. So I hope you enjoy it. And Carla and I really appreciate it. So take care for now. Open road, you sit in close. Let's go somewhere far away. If all I have is you, then I'll be just fine Yeah.
days are full And I'll spend them with you So let's go somewhere far